Madam Hubner, what are the main points of the report about of non-better regulation? I, I think what is important is to uh, make it clear that that was a report which was finalizing the negotiations between three institutions, because in lawmaking at European level, it is the Parliament and the Council, meaning member states, who participate as legislators, mm -hmm. and then there is the European Commission who is coming with initiatives. So the three institutions uh, decided to make this process of preparing new law more transparent, more open also to the consultation with stakeholders, with all those who will be uh, impacted by the new uh, law, to make this law simpler. We will also have what we call impact assessment, meaning that every new piece of law will have to be thoroughly evaluated from the point of view of the consequences it produces for for example, for small and medium-sized companies, for environment, for consumers, for producers, for capital markets, depending on what the legislation is, is about. We also agreed that the new law that will be adopted, prepared, will give equal treatment to European Parliament as legislator and member states who are represented by governments and one more thing which I think I would like it to worth mentioning is so-called gold plating, meaning at European level we agree on a law, on a, on a legal act, and then it goes to member states who have to transpose it into national laws. And then member states, governments, very often use this opportunity to add things, additional things, which create additional burden for administration or for small and medium-sized companies. So we want, as European institutions, to make sure that this gold plating, so this addition by the uh, national governments, will have to be identified. So a legislator at national level, a parliament, will have to say, this is up to here, it's transposition of what Europe wants us to have at national level, and this is added by us so that we clearly see what is not really demanded by European level. Indeed, the European Union is often seen like a, a huge bureaucratic organism. Very often, people who live in a, in a small city in Italy, in Spain, or in Poland, or in Germany, they look at Brussels in a, without differentiating who, who is Parliament, who is Commission, so it's all seen as, as Europe, which is there in Brussels, but all of the institutions have their role uh, to play. And we know that we have to work very closely, we have to cooperate uh, to make the Europe more, more efficient, but also to ensure that uh, what we call legitimacy, meaning that we have the title, democratic title, to do something. So that's why the role of European Parliament is so important, because we are elected. We are not representing national interests or um, uh, government's interests. We are representing directly citizens. That's why it's important that people also see that within this bureaucracy there are also politicians elected by them who come to Brussels, work in Brussels or in Strasbourg, and uh, care about their interests and work on the or approve the law uh, that is really needed and that is really reflecting the interests of, of European consumers or small and medium-sized companies. And does the simplification regard also the access to uh, the EU funds? Well, we are not specifically talking about uh, concrete uh, areas where we legislate, but of course European uh, funding is also regulated by European regulation, which is then directly used by national governments, or regional governments, or local uh, authorities. And uh, we don't have to, uh, what we call, transpose it. So we don't have to change it. We use it directly uh, in the form that Europe has adopted. And that's why any time we will be now preparing a new regulation on structural funding or changing the regulation on structural funding, we will have to be very transparent, we will have to respect the subsidiarity, so regulate at the European level only what has to be regulated at European level and not what can be done locally. But we will also see that this gold plating that I mentioned that is not done because very often structural funds which are complex to use, very often at national level or regional level, 
authorities add some additional um, uh, demands from those who will be using the funds, making it more uh, difficult from an administrative point of view or more difficult for small and medium-sized companies. That's why it's important that we all agree that there will be that this this additional uh, administrative burden that comes from national editions or regional editions that it will not be the case.